Okay, now we're going to go ahead and program our valve. Uh, first thing we're going to do is set the time of day, then we're going to set AM, PM, then we're going to set the days of regeneration. Okay, so what we'll do is press the menu enter button, you see the time flash, you press the set change button, it goes by digit, press menu enter again, it goes to the next digit, menu enter one more time, and that's your hour. Hit en menu enter again, the time flashes one more time. You got AM, PM, okay? Menu again. This is days between backwashes. We want this set at six for uh, our um, this type of service. So six days is where we want it set. Menu enter again, and we'll go back into service mode between the time and the days left between generation, regenerations. Okay, now we're going to go into the master programming and actually set up our regeneration uh, parameters. So what we'll do is we'll hit the menu enter and set change button both at the same time and hold them. And this takes approximately five seconds. Okay, so there's your regeneration, R for regeneration. So right now what this is set at is 2 a.m. This is what we recommend. Um, it's important to note that if you have softeners, other filters in the line, um, you want to make sure your regeneration times are staggered. So you would set one for, say, midnight, one for 1, one for 2 a.m. The idea is, is you'd like to prefer them to regenerate when nobody's using water. So just like before, uh, basically the set change button changes a.m. p.m. Hit menu again. Like I said, cycle through. We're going to set it at 2 a.m. Hit it again. They all flash. You're good to go. So then you're going to go ahead and hit the menu enter button and you're going to go into number one. This is your backwash cycle. This is the amount of time that the water actually goes down through the dip tube and pushes all of the contaminants out of your media. So again, we want that set for 10 minutes and it works the same way. You just hit the set change button and then scroll through it that way. So that's set for sequence two. Okay, now we're in sequence two. This is your rest period. This just lets everything settle down after your backwash. Again, we want that set at five minutes. System three is the rapid rinse. This is the amount of time the water goes back down through the media, up the tube, and it's just a rinse flush cycle. And we want that set at six minutes for a sediment filter. Okay, this is your Bluetooth enabled. Uh, it's pre-programmed, it's set at one. So if you're gonna use your uh, remote app, you'll use the Bluetooth, you'll have this set at one. And this is for setting up a password. And we hit one more time and we are back to service mode, which flashes back and forth between the time and the days left for regeneration. Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you here, you can download the legacy app And this is your Bluetooth setup. So um, you see the legacy view, and it'll show up. It'll show you your filter. And we'll go ahead and hook up. So this is a nice little uh, dashboard. It shows you your time of day, battery, days until backwash, regeneration time. You can also go into advanced settings, and you can go ahead, and that shows you your backwash, your, re your rest, and your rapid rinse. So if you go back to the dashboard, just to show you, an example so right now the time of day on the units 557 that's actually not the correct time so you just press on that it'll say what you want this to link up to your device you hit OK and as you can see it changed to 132 which is actually the real time so this is a nice uh, little uh, app uh, if you download it from uh, Apple Store or uh, from Google Play.